Hey guys, Jason here with The Mento Show. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for being a subscriber. So today it finally showed up. I recently bought a Rugard electronic dry cabinet for all my camera equipment. So this is the 80 liter model. Uh, I got it from B&H Photo in New York City. Uh, so today we're just gonna open it up. I'm really curious to see how much it's gonna hold. Um, I have a few camera bodies and about five or six lenses. And uh, let's just see if it'll all fit today. So let's just do a quick unboxing and then we'll see what can fit in this Rugard 80 liter electronic dry cabinet. So here we go. All right guys, so here it is. The Rugard 80 liter uh, electronic dry cabinet. It's all unboxed. Uh, so right now we're just gonna go ahead and see how much gear we can, we can add in there so it gives you kind of an idea if you go and purchase yours. Um, the big thing about this, this machine is it keeps the moisture out and it keeps it, the dust out. Uh, you guys can read more about it if you're interested, you know what it does. So uh, I just wanna see what it'll hold. I got quite a bit of gear here. Uh, so uh, let's just start loading up see how we do here uh, it does come with a shelf and it comes with uh, some padding I guess for the, the bottom part and the shelf so uh, it comes with keys to lock it I don't have it on or anything right now but uh, we'll go ahead and open it up and uh, we'll see how much stuff we can add in here okay so the first thing I got is a uh, Nikon 300 millimeter. So I'm gonna try to put that one near the back. I think there's still plenty of room. I have a Nikon D4S on, I uh, have a 70 to 200 millimeter attached. Uh, so let's see, maybe I'll put this in the front. This is a Nikon uh, D850 with a 16 to 35 on it. In there. Okay, we'll go ahead and add the shelf. I kind of pre-positioned it already. Right, shelf's in. We'll add the padding. Okay. Okay, I got a um, Nikon 85 millimeter. Got a Nikon 24 to 70. Got a Nikon uh, 14 to 24. Nikon 60 millimeter micro, macro. Also have a teleconverter, 1.4. And I got two Nikon SB800 flashes. Okay, and that's it. That's my main gear. Uh, I think I got a 20 millimeter upstairs. Uh, I probably should put in here. But uh, there you go. Um, so yeah, again, 300. And then I have two DSLRs with lenses. There's four lenses in the back, two flashes. Plus this whole front part here is completely open. So you could add, I don't know, five more lenses maybe. Um, you could definitely add some bigger glass if you had some telephotos. You, know, you can put that maybe in the back and add these lenses to the front, but um, yeah, it was questionable what, what size I should get. Um, this was the um, the best selling one at B&H, so I guess people have done the research and found out you know what works the best. So, but this works great, so uh, everything fits. I'll just add that extra lens, and um, that's it. So this is just a quick one. Just if, uh, if anybody was curious about what size to buy, this is what's in mind to kind of give you some guidance uh, when you make your purchase. So uh, 
Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a subscriber, guys. And we will see you on the next one. See you later, guys.